Yeah. She's a good girl. Yep, yep, yep. I know they're so cute. I wish I had ten of them, but it just wouldn't work for me to have too many dogs. It's too much, too much work. Here's a mastiff. Yeah, it is. And I said I like big dogs. Over at Humane Society, there's a mastiff. It's a lot like her. Really? Yeah. Male or female? Female. Really? Yep. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. She's, uh, she had a little bit of food with me, and then she said, oh, I'm full. The one over at the Humane Society? Yeah. Yep. Wow. Her name is, uh, Zula, I think. Yeah. Well, the weather's going to start changing here pretty soon, I think. You think it's going to get cooler? Yeah. What's the temperature today? Oh, it's 100 degrees, but it's, you know, I think in a couple of weeks, because I remember that during nine during nine eleven, that's whenever it started to get cooler at night. That was the beginning of September, wasn't it? Yeah, that was nine eleven. Yeah. Was, yeah, September eleven. Of course, yeah. that was in Memphis, right? You're right there. Yeah. Yeah, that was the beginning. Yeah, it started to get cool at night. And that's I remember that they were talking about. Uh, they were worried at night, you know, about the people if they were still, you know, in the rubble and they couldn't get their way out. Oh yes, because that's that happened back in New York, didn't it? It sure did. So yeah. it gets a lot colder in New York. Yep. Yep. I wonder what that stuff was. All those stuff that fake sugar. Um, Howard used to have that around because. His wife, the one that died, you know, Kathy was the name. Yeah. She was a diabetic. Oh, I see. I wonder if all that stuff just has an aftertaste to me. I yeah. Know. I can't even drink a Diet Coke. All of you can drink Diet Coke. An aftertaste, I couldn't stand. Well, Hollis did? Hollis. The kids always had good diet stuff for them when they were young. I remember sodas with huh. the boys, uh, Brian and Logan. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, it's so sad. Mm -hmm. Well, I think he died. I don't think he's alive anymore. I don't know, maybe. I thought he died. I don't know where I stand. I think he's still alive, but he was the one that was wounded. 37. Laid back, good humored, respectful, and curious person. He is a civilian. He loves soccer, is wild about music and music festivals, and he has been obsessed with geography and travel since he was a little boy. On October 7th, Hirsch and his best friend, Honor, went to a music festival in the south of Israel. It was advertised as celebrating peace, love, and unity. They also went to celebrate Hershey's 23rd birthday. As rockets began to fall, Hirsch, Honor, and 27 other young festival goers took refuge in a five foot by eight foot bomb shelter. Terrorists began to throw grenades into the shelter. Hirsch's left forearm, his dominant arm, was blown off before he was loaded onto a pickup truck and stolen 
from his life and me and John into Gaza. And that was 320 days ago. Since then, we live on another planet. Anyone who is a parent or has had a parent can try to imagine the anguish and misery that John and I and all the hostage families are enduring. We're also profoundly thankful to you, the millions of people in the United States and all over the world who have been sending love, support, and strength to the hostage families. You've kept us breathing in a world without air. There is a surplus of agony on all sides of the tragic conflict in the Middle East. In a competition of pain, there are no winners. We know the one thing that can most immediately release pressure and bring calm to the entire region. A deal that brings this diverse group of 109 hostages home and ends the suffering of the innocent civilians in Gaza. Hirsch, Hirsch, if you can hear us, we love you. Stay strong. Survive. Bring them home. And that was just on August 21st. Here we are on September 1st, and Hirsch's family has released this statement saying, quote, with broken hearts, the Goldberg Poland family is devastated to announce the death of their beloved son and brother, Hirsch. The family thanks you all for your love and support and ask for privacy at this time. Much more on this in CNN. It's, um, the car is a Type 2 diabetes. Discover the Ascension Tricycle. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Country Financial. Country Financial. You had somebody you were working with that at what time? That knew how to find good deals and stuff like that. Oh, wasn't it a man? What was his name? I don't know. Oh, well, progressive manager. I don't know. 37. Well, I still got robbed. There's places we can go to. Why didn't we do this last year? And look at me now. You'll never treat me. Don't take it allergic if you like that. Most common side. 
side effects are nausea, constipation, and sickiness. Cue up to the forget you get migraine. There's medicine. some, um, you know, can you can you can earn on everything with just one car. Well, it takes three months. So if you're off the racking or grab racking, your cash no, I'm good. Cash huh? back on flat jets, baby bags, and tacos at the taco shack. Uh, I'm working on my six pack. Switch to a king suite. Silent retreat. in Israel have spilled out into the streets, heated, passionate protests seen across the country earlier tonight. There in Tel Aviv, organizers estimating 550,000 people taken to the streets. And these protesters are demanding Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu reach a ceasefire and hostage deal with Hamas. The country's largest labor union is joining that fight, vowing a nationwide general strike tomorrow. And the mounting anger coming after the tragedy. The IDF recovered the bodies of six hostages, including an American from a tunnel in southern Gaza. The Israeli health ministry saying all six of these hostages were killed by short-range shots, likely sometime between Thursday and Friday of this week as the IDF was closing in. CNN's Nick Robertson is joining us live from Tel Aviv. And Nick, you were there tonight at the height of these pro protests. You've been covering this for months now. Did this feel different? It did feel different. There were a lot more young people. There were a lot more people. It would be impossible for us to, to count them and try to sort of verify that number of 550,000. But certainly a lot more than previous weekends when these protests have been going on. Uh, they, they began small early on in the year and have grown and grown and grown. But this, by far the biggest number, at one point we were trying to walk across the center of the city through the protest from one side to the other. And you couldn't really tell when you, you got to the other side because there were so many people on the streets. It was 20 minutes to half an hour of walking and it was packed and, and people going in one direction, people going in another direction, bands out playing with, with drums, a lot of people on the megaphone organizing the protesters. And, and after a while, they, the, the, the sort of central gathering was initially right around the Kyria, the, the defense ministry building. That's been the focus for so many times, but we saw another place that the protesters often try to go to to make their point, to get to communicate to the Prime Minister that they want him to change his position, negotiating position with Hamas, to, to, uh, to, to modify it, to make it, 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 to put it in a way that Hamas will allow the hostages to be released. About two-thirds of the country want a hostage deal, the hostages released at any cost. If Israel goes back to war with Hamas after that's all done, that's fine by people, but they want the hostages released as a priority. People went again to the highway, the main highway, four lanes each side that swoops around the outside of uh, Tel Aviv going from south to north, north to south. They blocked one of the carriageways. We were down there. There were fires lit. 
There were rubber tires uh, burning in the road. There were barricades put up. The police came in. It was mostly peaceful. The police putting out the fires. There were police on horseback there. Now, uh, at the end of the day, the police are saying that they've arrested 29 people. But I, but I do think it's worth reflecting that, by and large, this was a very, very peaceful protest. And the majority of people coming out purely for that reason to try to get their voices heard but i, I spoke to meet some of the young people and they are not convinced that even this number is going to change the prime minister's mind now we know that what the labor unions are calling for strikes on monday we know that the municipality